नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो यस्टरडेज एक्सट्रीमली सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम मोखा ओवर ईस्ट सेंट्रल एंड एडजॉइनिंग नॉर्थ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल मूव्ड नॉर्थ नॉर्थ ईस्ट वर्स एंड टुडे अर्ली मॉर्निंग इट वॉज ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड हैज़ टूडे कंप्लीटेड इट्स लैंडफॉल प्रोसेस वेरी मच एज पर द इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट्स फोरकास्ट इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट हैज बीन हैड बीन ट्रैकिंग दिस साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम राइट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ अप्रैल एंड इट 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 जनरेटेड ओवर द ओवर द साउथ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल एट जॉइनिंग साउथ एंड मानसी एज अ लो प्रेशर एरिया ऑन एट ऑफ मे एंड इट मेड सब्सिक्वेंटली द uh 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 it it intensified subsequently into a depression into a cyclonic storm and then further uh further into a, a, a extremely severe cyclonic storm so today this uh, uh, extremely severe cyclonic storm mokha has crossed southeast bangladesh myanmar coast close to sitwe between uh our cox bazar of uh, southeast bangladesh and kyau uh, kyau pyu of uh, myanmar with the maximum sustained surface winds of uh, 180 to 190 gusting to 210 kilometers per hours so as we can see from here in this uh, uh, our track forecast that uh, uh, this uh, uh, cyclo extremely severe cyclonic storm has uh, Uh, completed its uh, landfall process and it is uh, likely to uh, weaken during next 6 hours into a very severe cyclonic storm when it will be having a uh, 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 maximum sustained wind speed of uh, 75 knots that is it would weaken uh, 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 currently from the current speed to 75 knot speed and would further weaken into a into a, a deep depression by today's uh, midnight by today's uh, uh, 18 utc that is 23 30 hours ist of today and by tomorrow zero utc that is zero uh, 5 30 hours ist of tomorrow it it would be a depression only so currently there is a, a heavy to very heavy and extremely heavy down power uh, uh, rain is being experienced over the uh, north myanmar coast and adjoining southeast bangladesh coast and also gale winds of the order of uh, 150 to 160 are being experienced over the region uh, so uh, it would have subsequent uh, weakening and under the influence of this as we have been predicting that uh, uh, over over uh, our uh, nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura and especially over uh, mizoram and southern parts of manipur uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely during next uh, 24 hours uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely during next 24 hours as depicted here by uh, by orange color and heavy rainfall over the uh, eastern parts of assam and meghalaya and also over eastern parts of arunachal and this uh, rainfall activity would continue till uh, till tomorrow uh, also tomorrow again uh, this uh, uh, nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura and uh, assam and meghalaya would uh, continue to receive uh, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall with the uh, squally winds uh, uh, of uh, of the order of uh, 50 to 60 gusting to 70 today and tomorrow with the uh, slighter uh, reduced uh, wind uh, intensity uh, <clears throat> so uh, and also one more thing that over these areas of uh, uh, nagaland manipur mizoram uh, and and eastern assam uh, there is likelihood of uh, land slides over these area during next 24 hours so that was all about our uh, extremely severe cyclonic storm mokha and now if you come over to the uh, uh, weather over the rest parts of the country so uh, yesterday due to this uh, cyclone formation uh, the maximum temperatures had uh, reduced significantly by 5 to 8 degree centigrade over over north west india and over central india uh, uh, the the uh, maximum temperatures which were of the order of 38 degree and below 38 degree uh, till 7th of may had uh, uh, increased significantly and they were of the order of uh, uh, 44 to 46 degree over uh, most parts of west rajasthan uh, over gujarat and over parts of uh, vidarbha and uh, and madhya pradesh as well 
so these temperatures with which had risen by 5 to 8 degrees centigrade for, uh, since uh, 7th of uh, 7th of may are now again about to see slight fall by 2 to 3 degrees centigrade and at some places 2 to 4 degrees centigrade over parts of northwest india and also over uh, central india so uh, although uh, the the northwest india plains and the central india have seen a brief uh, spell of heat wave of 1 to 2 days but now the heat wave conditions over uh, Rajasthan have uh, are very likely to uh, subside from today and so there is no heat wave conditions are likely and although over over west assam and over vidarbha isolated heat wave conditions would continue for today but as this uh, cyclonic storm dissipates and the uh, and the winds become uh, uh, winds become northerly over the parts of East India. So uh, again, we can see a brief heat wave spell over Odisha during 15th to uh, 17th of uh, May, and also over uh, Gangetic West Bengal on on uh, uh, 16th of May. And uh, 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 if we talk about the southern parts of the country, so uh, southern country would uh, almost remain dry during this uh, uh, during next uh, five days period. Uh, with with a with a probability of maximum temperatures uh, uh, rise from uh, to uh, rise in the range of two to three degrees centigrade, and as far as northwest India is concerned, so over this entire Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, and western parts of Uttar Pradesh and western Himalayan region are likely to uh, continue to see uh, light to moderate uh, thunderstorm activity at isolated places during next five days, and from uh, 17th uh, night of the 17th May, there is a, a likelihood of impact of a western disturbance, although uh, it would be just a feeble or a light uh, or, or, or a moderate western disturbance, which would uh, cause isolated uh, drizzle over the uh, plains of northwest India, Punjab, Haryana, uh, western parts of UP and Rajasthan, and isolated to scattered rainfall over western Himalayan region, that is Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgit, Baltistan, Mujafrabad, Himachal Pradesh, and Uttarakhand. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll again meet with Delhi Weather Briefing for weather warning during the next five days. Thank you and goodbye.